Hey, my name is Doug, and uh, I got a real passion for Plus One. I love the concept of, of everybody putting in a dollar, pulling it together, and blessing somebody. Uh, that really does it for me. The first time we were able to give a single mom, we paid her medical bills. She had outstanding medical bills, and we were able to pay those bills for her. And then the last Plus One, uh, we were able to bless a recent uh, widow with a brand new car. This will be our third time that we've, we've done a Plus One presentation, and uh, we're at the Children's Specialty Center across from Sunrise Hospital uh, to uh, bless Alyssa Smith and her family. She's been undergoing chemo treatment for the last two years, and ironically, today is her last chemo treatment. She finished it strong. She finished it being my warrior, my hero, walking with God the whole way and never failing, never looking left or right, knowing he was carrying her through. So it's, it's huge. It's huge. It's a very special day for her, and, and we are hoping to make it even more special than what we're going to present to her. She has no idea. When Pastor Doug first texted me and then called me, I'm like, whoa, what's going on? Like, okay, God, like, whoa, like, where are you? Okay, got you. <laughs> You're all in this. So this is like a surprise of a lifetime for her. We asked the people on the way out after church uh, to put a dollar in the, in the bucket. We are just hopeful that at the end of this very long journey for them, uh, there's going to be a, a, a fun payout for them. And, and so that, that's my great hope that they just know that, hey, we're not alone. we got a church family that cares. We do things as a family. We don't like doing things separate from each other. So if she can't go, none of us go. And this is a chance to say, guess what? Chemo's done. There's no low counts. There's nothing holding you back. Now, all of us together can go and laugh and smile and have an amazing time. Just run free. So what we're doing today is we're going to present to Alyssa and her family a free trip to Disneyland and a free stay at a hotel. And so we know this is going to bless them. They haven't been able to do anything for, for a couple years. And so uh, I'm so excited to present this today. Hey, Alyssa! <laughs> this is a big day for you. This is the last chemo treatment. Two years of chemo is coming to an end today. And so we collect a dollar from everybody, put all of our money together, and, and, and that's why I'm here. This is tickets to Disneyland and a night stay at the Disneyland Hotel. I'm going to Disneyland! <laughs> Cancer showed up and God showed up and I'm completely done now and he just, when I'm weak, he carries me, um, he has my shoulder to cry on and he's my doctor, he's the one who healed me. My church is amazing and it's amazing that they did this for me because they didn't have to and they chose out of their own heart and God put it on their heart to help me and my family just have a nice vacation and I really, really appreciate it. Well, it's been a long journey. Jeanette, tell, tell the folks here just a little bit about what it's been like, the, the toll it's taken on your family, but also the strength that, that your family has gotten because of this. Well, as he said, it's been a really long journey, about two and a half years worth. And you, you, no one expects this. You just don't know. Things are going great, and then you turn around and one day you're hit with this. You know, financial burdens, of course, is the first thing you always think of. Um, I quit working because there was times where she was in the hospital every night in the ER. There's parts of her treatment where she spent weeks on end in the hospital and couldn't leave. And I was there by her side to hold her hand or hold her hair as she was going through it. And that left dad to have to pick up the slack at home, not only be the provider, but he had to take care of Sissy and her little brother, get him to school, make dinner, do homework. And that just left him without a spouse. It left the, the kids without their sister because there's many times where they would wake up in the morning and run into a room and wonder, are you there? Are you awake today? Are you going to be able to be around us? But through it all, God was like, I'm not leaving your side, and I'm going to bring you together, and I'm going to keep you there. And that's what he's done. Uh, 
I've been told that cancer doesn't just affect the person who is going through it, but it has a profound effect on the family and, and, and especially the siblings who, who care for, for their, their uh, other sibling, but also kind of get pushed to the back uh, burner, not, not by anybody intentionally, but just all the attention is there. And so uh, we wanted kids this to be a trip for all of you guys, not and, and the parents too, but we want this to be all of you. You all have gone through this, and we're glad that it can be done as a family down there. And uh, Alyssa, I can't imagine being as young as you are to go through what you went through, but, but uh, I have seen some of your responses on Facebook. Uh, I don't have a Facebook account, but, I, but I'm a, what, a Facebook stalker, I guess. I, <laughs> I know everything about you on Facebook. And I've seen some of your posts, and I've seen some of the profound things that you've said. And Tell the folks here what you've learned about God, what you're coming away with that's made your faith deeper, just going through what you've gone through. Um, when I was first diagnosed, um, I didn't understand, so I was really mad at God, which pushed me away from him. But then I realized that he is my strength. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me, Philippians 4.13, and I can lean on him whenever I need any help. That's incredible. Well, I want you to post on Facebook. When you guys go to Disneyland, I, w- I want you to post on Facebook all the pictures and all the rides and, 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 and all the stuff there. And, and then, Ricardo, why don't you tell the folks how they can follow, not only along with, with Alyssa, but, but the, the other kids, and tell them what you got going on on Facebook. She has her own personal page that we set up, but we also set up a support page because we got a lot of people from out of town. And uh, it's called Team Inspiration Warriors. Uh, We didn't put the name team on the T-shirts because we feel it's all about the kids. When we decided to call it Team Inspiration Warriors, we were doing a walk, and it was more personal for us. But the T-shirts basically are for saying all the kids that go through this are warriors. They're all inspirations because they go through so much. And to me, whether you whether they lose, to me, there's no such thing as them losing a battle, a battle, because if they stay on earth, they're here with us still. But if they go see our heavenly Father, they it's a win-win, either way it goes. So, well, you guys are <clears throat> our heroes, all of you, and uh, we're so glad that we could take this, and, and you and I talk, God just set this thing up. I planned on doing this two months ago, but it just didn't come together, plus one, and when it did come together, I thought of you guys, we were wanting to do something, and then lo and behold, it happened to be uh, her last chemo treatment. It was just one of those God set up things, and so anyway, enjoy your trip down there, and take lots of pictures for us, okay? God bless you guys. Yeah.